Reaper. This, you know, probably not too great for Yoshi on the grounded department, but if he can find his way in, definitely he's got a few, a few pieces that'll work. I like how Salty Fun starts in the corner trying to get egg pressure going, but the sword proven to be ranged enough to deal with his shenanigans already. Actually, crazy enough, we started um we started FD. Now I don't know too much about Bylos because his character came out like last the last week. But like they're sorty. And sorties like can like juggle characters like Yoshi who don't really have that much of an option to land. She especially plays very well in the grounded department, you know, like she she has her neutral air. She has good aerials, good range, but it's definitely not where she wants to be or stay. It's more so where she wants to punish you or catch you is in the air. Yeah. And then Yoshi's just like, once Yoshi, because like Yoshi's always been the type of character to like get one hit and like you give him an inch, you give him a mile. And like on this stage, like you don't have platforms to extend your combos, but like nothing can screw you up. This is like you too. I really like him buffering the Nair out of that forward air whiff and getting stock number one. That hefty down smash, not going to work. You know what's funny? Fully charged hip or F smash goes earlier than down B. Oh, I believe it. I believe it. That move is is large and in charge, dude. <laughs> but like, what's the point of down B then? There's literally no point. Um, you know the satisfaction of hitting a warlock or falcon punch. And that side special, oddly enough, I think got salty fun in a weird DI situation. And he, he lost the stock earlier than you think Yoshi would, because he's a heavy boy, deceptively. Yeah, Yoshi's heavy. Yoshi lives long. One of his good attributes. So, but he doesn't move like a heavy one. I don't know see, what that was. See the fear that that down B caused? That might have been, <laughs> been, like, might have been a, a neutral B. That's what we call a schmix up. The schmix. He got put in the schmix. Oh, the neutral air. And he gets the tether out of the way because he burned out his jump. Great job by Salty Fun catching that. But it rise with eggs. Actually has the best tether out of all the other ones. Yeah, so quite surprising that it would whiff right there. Like, how does Byleth kill, like, side B and fair and, like, fair and bear? Uh, oh, and up bear. I will say, actually, catching people with up smash is, act is a lot easier than it seems. Really? I think so. It gets you grounded, and it's so fast on the startup, and it's multi-hit, you know? And it kills at 100. Very, very early kill and move. Byleth actually has, I'm not thinking about it now, Byleth actually has, like, a plethora of kill moves. Mm -hmm. Just, like, she doesn't have any kill setups. Like, the only one I can think of is, like, yeah. The only one I can think of is, like, down tilt up air. But like, other than that, like, all of her aerials kill besides there, which sends you into tech chase. I like his idea to fall with the upper there, and now catching on the B-reverse up special. Salty Fun bringing the pressure with these eggs, oh, and he's bringing the pressure with that forward air. Bonking him off to the side of the stage and taking game one very clean. Yoshi. We're going to taking that sigh of relief. It's kind of like a Yoshi classic. He triumphs over DLC. Yeah, no, it's not. Lilat is not legal. You don't have to worry about it. Sadly. No worries, buddy. Right, Cold? Bring back Lilat. Yeah, see, this guy knows. He Lilat? plays Krom, too. I have a, a few mixed opinions on it. I think the only benefit of it being gone is there's a lot of the community that, like, I, I would argue half of, if not more than half of the community, is against it. Um, so for that, I'm fine. I'm neutral on the matter. I wouldn't mind to see it back. As, uh, you know, Isam proved it's a, it's a good counter pick recently with Pika at Genesis, um, but <sighs> yeah. Anyway, going on into game two here on Kalos. Interesting pick after getting thwonked on FD. Uh, I guess he'll enjoy the spaces, Violet. I don't know what's going on through his head. I never really know why people like going here, to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't know, they're the Violet player. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's like. Is that true? Is that true? That was cute. The falling up air definitely can link that, it to that more. That low key looked yeah, true. Yeah, it definitely does I really does don't want to say it was, but I don't know because I don't. I, don't, I literally don't own this character. Take that to the lab. You don't own them. You didn't even buy them. No. You didn't I only, buy. I only them. have. I, <laughs> sorry. I, could, uh, I only have Joker and um. Who else do I have? I only have Joker. Well, no. Yeah, I only own Joker, which wow. is the only DLC that matters. <laughs> At this point, oh, the side special is going to take him off the top again. I think he's got to take a few uh, notes on how to maybe DI that, or maybe it's just that strong. I don't maybe remember. just caught him off guard, because like, yeah. that move is enormous. So maybe it's like, slightly than it. Oh, wow. Edge guards? No, it's not, oh. going, not going. Burning the double jump a, li a little bit early for an edge guard to work out there. 
All right. Well, Hachiman seems to have a little bit of a better grip on this oh. game right here. Going for the side special out of the upbeat tether grab. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a thing. Oh, up, but, Salty um, Fun has the jump. Yes, yeah, so Salty Fun's kind of just like struggling to take out the stock, which is something a lot of them, um, a lot of characters can struggle to struggle a lot of times. It's like taking a stock. Like if your opponent knows what your win condition is for like killing. And they just play it around the super well. And then like it, it, it makes it get it, it makes you, it makes you get desperate. It's tough. I will say Yoshi also struggles to kill a little bit too. He can get you to those high percents, but as far as setting up into a kill, he's got to get a good read, a good hit in there. He's got a lot of options for it, like that up air right there. He's got a little bit of ground to cover though. Sixty-seven percent separating the two. Good job getting the stage control, but he's gonna get dunked. Didn't burn the jump. Yeah, if he didn't have a jump, then he was dead. <laughs> that was curtains, baby. Surprising that that happens at such an early percent, like 70. You know, after like, yeah, I, 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 after like 60 or 50, I don't know what the percent range is, uh, the up he just starts to like, spike every time. All right, and well, at a very percent. early percent, he's going to take Salty Fun's second stock. Kalos looking to work out. I guess the open space combined that with was the... You know what it is that Byleth has, actually? The tether. You can cling to the stage without... Oh, yeah! Yeah, you can kind of climb. I don't know why... But you can only do that when you're super duper low. Yeah, I don't know why that would make the hugest difference, considering her recovery already, but... You know, he got edge guarded a fair amount last game, so I, I see where, he, where his head's at. Salty Fun seeming to make up for all this lost ground right here. Right, throwing out one aerial at a time, trying to find his way through this stock. So he's got the momentum. 150, a strong nair will kill that ledge. Oh, trying to catch the tether. Hachiman's been doing a good job mixing up those recoveries. Ooh. He's at 9%, so that wouldn't have really made a difference, actually. Salty Fun's just looking for a kill. Like, you should just be... Salty Fun should just be spacing back airs and landing with up air on shield. Because up air's like minus 5 on shield. Okay. There it is, like you back said, air. nice back air. <laughs> we were talking about that before this set. All oh. right, up tilt momentum. to victory, maybe. Swinging things around, we got more of an even game, folks. Hachiman playing from ahead the whole game so far, but not anymore. All oh, the egg lay, but mashing up before he's able to get anything, really. Ooh. Oh. That is armor. Oh, God. That hit? No, sir. That was How that crazy. Hit? Oh, How I got to play. Hit? Alrighty. Well, somebody else is going to come on to finish the, oh. the set for you guys, but enjoy the rest of the set. Well, would you look at what the cat dragged in? We're game three, by the way. Wow. Game three, intense set. Yoshi, Byleth, the classic. Byleth. How old is Byleth? You know, I I tend to think that Byleth is a bad character, and I was watching that uh, I was watching that Mexican tournament that MKLeo won with Byleth, and I it made me think he has a little more than I thought, but Byleth's I couldn't tell bad. if it was just MKLeo. Nah, Byleth isn't bad. Like her her fair and bear are like ridiculous. They're like so good. Her up air is also really good. Like she has she just has good moves. They just don't like link. They don't like work together, you know. Like how like they just get loose. I just think she really struggles against like rushdown characters. Actually, like, she's also kind of slow. Slow and like nares her best out of shield option. It's not that great. Yeah. And her disadvantage is kind of sus, but she makes up for it in advantage. How strong her moves are like that. Back to the box match, we got two. got nearly even first stock here. Okay. Always important to take the first stock. Let's see if you can get this get this on the game three. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Salty Fun taking it there. But it's actually you got him with the Sour Spot Fair. Sour Spot Fair is stronger than Bowser's Fair. Interesting. Yes. Wow, that was really good. The, the egg laid or the down air that was optimizing his image, and now Salty Fun's just running all over him. That's like the third down B he's gone for this set. Yeah, definitely eating a good amount of damage for that that he did not need. I, I, it may have not been intentional, I'm not sure. Yeah, the down B is a pretty useless move, I'd say. Literally, that smash kills earlier. 
does it? If you fully charge up smash and tipper, it kills earlier well, than down fully, B. Fully charge up smash is, is slower than down B, and it doesn't have armor. Well, when are you ever gonna hit somebody with down B? Literally, whenever. Uh, when you shield break them. Yeah, maybe in doubles. There you go. Or dubs, I guess. Throw it out there, catch somebody off guard with the armor. But that's about it. it. Doesn't have any actual practical uses. Okay, that was good. So basically, the story of this game, they were going pretty even at the beginning, and then Salty Fun took the first stock, and then got a lot of extra credit, because Yoshi can do that. Yoshi can get those long strings. And now they're just been trading back and forth, but since Salty Fun got that first stock, he's been in the lead. So, Hachiman needs to make something happen. Yeah, Salty oh. Fun's just doing a really good job keeping Hachiman in the air. Byla's uh, landing options aren't that great. Um, you know, her down air is super slow start up, and... She has not great aerial drift, so it'd be really tough getting down, especially against a character like Yoshi. Oh. That's all. Oh, don't DI in on that. Oh, wow. He, he got the air dodge too. Well, the double nair. Oh. <laughs> Going for the mix ups. The schmix. F smash? Yep. F smash? Check please. Oh. What are you doing, no Soldier Fun? Soldier Fun is li really, really struggling for this. He's being too nervous. He's just like, just take a chill pill, let the kill come to you. Or go to it. Either the way classic it works. run up, down B, no counter play. Amazing. Go.